So within Lamp Words for Life, another thing that you're going to want to set up before giving it to the child is um, making sure that not only guided access is turned on, which is in the general AAC guide um, setup guide, um, but that you want to make sure that there's a password on the menu. Um, and that means that they cannot edit it or change um, too much around um, just because you don't want um, that to happen when you're not around, which it does happen every so often. So how you do that is you go up to the right hand corner and hit menu and you're going to hit the third button down, which is settings. So you'll see editing has menu passcode and use menu passcode. So right now it's turned off. When it's turned on, it will turn green and it will ask for a password. So the nice thing about turning it on and off is that when you are doing a lot of personal personalizations, you want to make sure to turn this off. Otherwise, every time you go to the menu, you'll have to re-enter a password. Um, so that way you can turn it off while you're editing and turn it back on when you're done. So I usually use the same password that I do for guided access. So for this example, I usually do, um, my, the child's birthday. Um, but for this one, I'm just going to do one, two, three, four. Um, again, one, two, three, four might be too easy for the child. So I might not do that. Um, but for this example, I'm just going to do one, two, three, four, and you'll see that it will, um, show up in the menu passcode. Sometimes it doesn't show up in my videos. Um, I don't really know why, but I did just type something and then use menu passcode. You got to turn that on. So you'll see it's green. If it stays on, it means that you did enter a password um, that is valid in there. And so once you click done in the top left hand corner, um, you have just turned on a password. Um, so every time you try to click menu or vocab, it will not allow you to do it unless you turn in and put in the password. And so when you're, when you're ready to edit, you go to menu, you put in that password. You go to settings and you want to make sure to turn off that password. Otherwise, it'll be super frustrating and annoying to edit because you'll have to put a password in every single time. And that is how you set up a password.